Hi, today we're going to make this wreath made of household items like cardboard and paint. Easy and fun. And what a beautiful thing it is. Join us. Hi, this is Tweek. Today I'm going to work on a project that's festive and easy to make because I'm using the materials that are around me and I have got a lot of cardboard. You could run out and buy yourself an artificial wreath. You could make one for yourself out of branches. I don't have pine trees that I can pull down to make mine, so I'm going to use the materials that are around me to make something festive and fun. And here we go. I start with a piece of cardboard. Now I took a platter that I had and I cut out the circumference of it. That's about the size I want for the wreath. This is going to hang on the door. And then I took a plate out of the cupboard and I just made a circle. Now this one's a little bit smaller than the one I used, but you can get the idea that I'm using a circle and I'm going to use that circle as a reference guide to put the little cardboard leaves that I cut out. And let me show you those because the materials for this project are very simple. Some cardboard, some acrylic paint, a pair of scissors, some hot glue, and then however you want to embellish. I took apart some garland, I've got some bells, I've got some old ornaments. We're going to take them all over. And so here we go. So I've got my little leaves that I cut out. And I cut out the teardrop and then I made slices in it. So let me show you. Took a piece of cardboard, random. I didn't measure anything, just random pieces. Very simple to cut the cardboard. So you've got a teardrop shape. And then I just simply cut into it. I did this here just to give it a little more depth. When you start layering them up, it has a little more of a 3D effect that I liked. So that's how I made those. I laid them out on my pattern here. And once I got an idea of what I wanted to do with them, I had the biggest ones in the front of my pile. So I'm going to attach those first using hot glue. So you're just going to go around. Think of them like it's cookies. And you take your little cookies, you're going to go around using that line in the center to keep you on mark so it's a little more symmetrical when you get done. So I'm going to line these up glue them down and then go around it again and again till I fill up the center of the wreath. So I'm going to start with gluing and here we go. Our first layer is attached. Doesn't take much glue. Ooh, that looks like a pretty sunflower. Think about that when summer comes back. Okay, so I'm taking more of the little cookie cardboards here I made. And now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to pull them up a little bit because we're going to try to hide that little bit of a gap that's there. Didn't take that long to cut out the patterns, so it's a fun little project to do if you're watching something else or listening to some music. You see how you're getting more of a 3D layer effect, so here we go, more gluing. I thought as I was making this to ruffle up these little cut edges a little bit. You could do that. Once it's all painted and varnished, you can bend it up a little bit if you want a little more of a 3D effect. There's so many different ways you could do this. You could paint it any color you wish. I'm going for green today. You could paint it in a multiple colors. You could make it a poinsettia. Maybe I'll do that. Ooh, look at three layers. Boy, now it's looking like a sunflower again. I'm wanting summer when it's coming into winter time. So let's go another round. I've got a couple of little guys left there. One more in. I do. I want to fit one more in. Glue time. Isn't that turning out pretty? I gotta mix up some green paint. All right, our glue gun is only temporarily put on hold while I mix up some paint. I want this to be green, so I'm gonna take a bunch of the greens that I've got and just make, make a green color. I'm going to make a bunch of it too because there's a lot of leaves here. And if I have to make more, well, that'll be a challenge. <laughs> we'll see how this comes out. I never do know when I start throwing the paint together what it's going to look like. Hey, how about some of this? 
Does that look like a treat? Oh, that one talked to me. Um, I'm thinking if I have to make more, I can add some blue and yellow together. Gee, I hope it's a green that I like. I need a lot of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Just right. It's got metallic, two metallic greens and some neon in it. Look at that. There we go. That's what I have to work with, so I better make it work. right amount of green to cover and get into those crevices and I made this pretty symmetrical because I'm looking around to see where would I hang it I'm thinking this angle here how are we going to decorate this I have some options this is an old ornament oh my gosh and it fits perfectly so what you do is you look around you what would you like to put in there you could put any ornament that you like I'm gonna snip off the top here this was an ornament. Now it's going to be the centerpiece of my wreath. Oh, that's good. And I happen to have, hold on, do I want to put him? Let me look. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking he's pretty darn perfect for this spot. So have options around you. Get old ornaments, pieces of felt. Maybe you want to put a center of a Christmas card in there would be really pretty. Maybe you want to write welcome. Maybe you want to put your school logo in there. A wreath can be anything. Ours is going to be a snowman with some little pretty bells on there. So I'm going to use the hot glue gun and I'm going to attach him down, which means I'm going to put glue on the back side of this wreath. Press. This uh, ornament has like a brushy quality to it, so I want to make sure that the little bristles help hold into the glue. While he's drying, I'm going to do some more decorating now. Here's some of my options I've got. I had some garland. See this garland here? And I took it apart, and with that garland came these pretty little green bulbs, lots of bells. So I took that apart, and now I have some idea of what I want to do here and I thought what if I just put a little bulb all around the circumference of the snowman they kind of match oh that's nice what a happy circumstance these bulbs match what was on the ornament I didn't plan that I just skip things around me that I might want to use and then I see how it's going to work I'm thinking I'm staying away from the center I'm going around the outside see and I've got lots of them and if I have to I can take apart that garland and I can get some more. Um, I think that's up too high. So once I've got these planned I like that. That's pretty. Before I glue anything down I'll make sure I've got some bells here. It's all part of the process folks. What do you like? Do I want to go around there with red and fancify him up a little bit? Oh that's kind of cute. I like that because that brings a little bit of a highlight to our snowman and adds a little bit of sound when somebody uses the door there will be a little bit of a jingly sound. Let me see here. So now I'm going to glue these down very carefully. I'm going to try to hide the little hole that's in the bead. Little dab of glue. And place it on the leaf. Done. So, varnish time. Here's my varnish. I'm just going to lay it right over. Here we go. All right, the varnish. 
varnish is applied. I use a hairdryer to speed the drying process. Almost done. I'm going to tweak it. I'm going to add one more thing. And what would that be? I took some pipe cleaner. It happens to be in the candy cane color. So I started making little candy canes. A couple inches long. I just bent them over to get the look, the candy cane look. Now I'm going to place them where I think they might look good. And come around and add just a little pop of color all around Mr. Snowman. And then his scarf comes there. So I'm going to add one over here. So let's quickly glue those on and call it good. Here we go. I'm going to put glue on the candy cane. And it can stick up a little bit. I like that 3D effect. This one here. Good old pipe cleaner. One more thing. We have to add a hanger on the back. This is looking really pretty. Look at this. What do you think? Let's put a hanger on it and we'll be ready. Where's the top? Right here where my thumb is. I'm going to flip it over. And very carefully put my hanger right in here. Another piece of pipe cleaner. I want one that's a little longer. Okay. I'm just going to go in half. I like the pipe cleaner because you can bend it to fit any type of hook wherever you're going to hang this wreath. Let's use that old leaf that I didn't use earlier. Two pieces of cardboard, glue gun, here, do one side at a time. I'll lay down a lot of glue because I'm going to bring in the piece of cardboard and lay over the top and press as hard as I can without scrunching anything. And that paper will bind with the paper and the glue and that will be a nice strong hanger. The glue has dried. Let's see what we've got. You know, I like the tie-in with the candy cane hanger with the candy canes. That worked out really well, huh? And there you have it. Look at how pretty that is. I am always so tickled when I see how these turn out. That one's gorgeous. That's what we made today. And look what this one is a little bit bigger. So if you want to, using the same pattern, just cut bigger leaves, use some different ornaments, and get a different look. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Happy holidays to everybody, and see you again.